A group of veterans is suing Jackson's Veterans Hospital, and this comes after the GV Sunny Montgomery Hospital decided to close its dialysis treatment center. 12 News' Anthony Howard talked with veterans who say they weren't given enough notice. Anthony? Mel, the lawsuit accuses the VA hospital of violating policy. 50 people have signed a petition to prevent the closure. Veterans tell me this decision could put their lives in jeopardy. I remain that the VA is the best opportunity I have to continue my life existence. Veteran Clarence Hopkins has been receiving dialysis treatment at the VA for roughly a decade. They made us aware that they were going to close this dialysis unit uh, through a letter form in March of 2021. The letter stated that all patients receiving dialysis treatment at the Veterans Medical Center would be transitioned to a community dialysis center by May 15th, a 60-day notice. We spent three days a week receiving dialysis. So really, a 60-day notice is really about 30 days. Um, because, you know, of the fact that we were receiving dialysis three days a week. So, um, and that's one of the reasons why this transition should be postponed. The letter also states that someone will assist each patient personally with the transition of care. However, the veterans I talk with say that's not the case. They themselves don't know what to do. Right now, they don't even have a contract with these facilities. Mm. And, but yet, they want us to go to these facilities and establish a contract. Nobody ever came to us and talked to us at all. The first time I heard from my doctor, April the 9th, he stated to me that, Mr. Hopkins, you need to find an outside facility to take your dialysis in. So my response to him was, are you all going to put us out? He said, well, the unit is going to be closed on May 15th. According to the lawsuit, that's a violation of the VA's own guidelines. The VA handbook states that local VA resources for dialysis treatment should be considered first. I reached out to the hospital for an in-person interview. Officials there declined, but sent me a statement saying the decision was made due to an aging infrastructure and the requirement to provide high-quality care to their patients. For some reason, they want to close. They just want to close. What this, the reason why they're saying, uh, the reason they're using to close it is not true. And Benny Thompson wants answers. Last year, this, his office sent a letter to Chairwoman Debbie, Wasser, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, sorry about that, requesting bill language to support the funding for outpatient dialysis center care. And this past March, his office reached out to the VA secretary expressing concern about the dialysis unit closure and requesting a copy of the directive. Neither request has been honored at this time. Melanie, Byron, back to you.